In the morning, do you need a little bit of a buzz, a little bit of caffeine? I think we all do. So today, we're going to review the top six coffee shops in all of Flagstaff. For our first coffee shop, we want you to join us at Eat and Run. Eat and Run is located on the east side of Flagstaff off of Old Route 66 and 4th Street. And I stopped in and I asked the employees what their favorite drinks were. Do you think? I really like the very good smoothie a lot. That one's pretty good. That one's a Boatman's. I like both of them. The very good, or what was the other one? The Boatman breakfast. And then I also really like the Need a Beef drink. The Need a Beef drink. I really like Dirty Chives. I always get my juice bottled milk. Um, I usually do ice, but... Nice. Yeah. That is awesome. And how about you? What's your favorite thing on the menu? <laughs> Sonoran Sunrise. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. In addition to great coffee, tea, and smoothies, they do have a full breakfast and lunch menu that I highly recommend. Ah yes, Moselle's. They do have coffee, but they are a real bakery. A lot of these places, they import it from somebody down the street, not this place. They make it right on site. Hello. This is one of the favorite coffee shops in town as well, but in addition to their coffee, you gotta try their baked goods. We are here hunting for one of these coconut macaroons with chocolate on them, and I don't see the chocolate. Maybe we can get them to dip it. Oh my gosh, look at those cannolis. Holy cannoli. Holy cannoli. Holy cannoli. Moselle's, you will not beat the location. It's downtown Flagstaff. Heritage Square, tons of shopping, shops, restaurants. Yeah, you're going to want to go to Moselle's. It's the deal. It's a great bakery with great coffee and phenomenal gluten-free options. And they're dog friendly. I love this place because it's got sugar, lots of sugar in it. And this place, <laughs> their bakery is amazing. And then they also have a patio area out here as well. They do, but, but this is, why this we is came. what we came for. Those are those little macaroons, almond macaroons, but this has chocolate on them. And we just got one of these little oatmeal cookies just because. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? And you're right off of Heritage Square. You can sit out here and enjoy. And here's our Heritage Square area in downtown Flagstaff. Heritage Square is a great place where you're often going to find local events, bands playing, live entertainment, and on the weekends, they do movies on the square. So you have to come down and check it out. So on to Tourist Home. Tourist Home, this building was falling down and look what they did with it. They restored it, it's so cool. Now this coffee is locally sourced. Check out this really cool coffee bar. It's always buzzing, a lot of people here, a lot of good eats, and again, more pastry. Love that. How's everything? Really good. Lots of salad. That is Mark's sister, Kim, who I was have, enjoying lunch with. And Tourist Home does have some great options for breakfast and lunch. And on the patio, you can enjoy live music and great atmosphere. Okay, so legend has it that this guy was late for the train. He didn't make the train. He went and got a coffee. He never left and he opened a coffee shop. Yeah, I don't think that's exactly how this went. Well, I don't think so either, but, but I love the story. I think that'd be a great story. <laughs> they should hire you for marketing. <laughs> anyway, we love late for the train coffee. This is one of our favorite spots, also in downtown Flagstaff, with a super cool vibe to it, a very good coffee menu, and Mark's favorite... The pastry. <laughs> I think we're seeing a theme that all of our favorite coffee shops also have really delicious pastries. <laughs> yeah. So I'm out on the patio at Late for the Train, 
and this is definitely one of our favorite places. It's right in the middle of downtown Flagstaff. So if you're in Flagstaff and you're looking for a great cup of coffee, you definitely have to check it out. And they also have a lot of pastries, which the one that I got is a vegan pastry. They have vegan gluten-free things as well. But Mark's favorite is this like blueberry, um, I don't know, tart or something like that. But anyway, it's totally his favorite. They bring in pastries from um, one of the local bakers here in town. And if you like a little bit of history, this building's about 100, 110 years old. So it's really, really, really a cool backyard area just to hang out, have fun. And bring your dog. So far, we've been showing you all of our favorites, but in this video, we're trying one that's brand new to us. This one is Val's, which is a barber shop and a coffee lounge all wrapped into one. This is definitely the upscale coffee shop, well, barber shop in the area. There's actually condos on the upper floors as well. So this is a really well-conceived concept. Do you have any um, specialties like Actually, the cinnamon bun latte is one of the specialties for coffee. Awesome. Um, we have steep tea lattes. Um, right now, we're serving fresh squeezed lemonade with uh, floral syrups. And then just that we have the hair salon in the back. Everybody thinks that's pretty cool. Have a drink. <laughs> By the end of this video, we will be very caffeinated. <laughs> I got the cinnamon bun latte, which is their specialty, but I got it sugar free. So you can, I got it sugar free with oat milk. So it's no dairy, no sugar. Very good. Very, very good. Perfect. I know, it's windy. Today, Thank you. So. Blow away. Blown. <laughs> no, you can, there's nothing you can do about it. Blown away. All right. I gotta try this. Oh, she warmed it up. So we're pretty happy. This place is legit. Last but not least, it's the iconic Macy's. <laughs> we're at Macy's here in uh, kind of downtown Flagstaff. We're actually though south of the tracks. So this place is a hippie joint. That's what a good friend of mine calls it. He calls it a hippie joint. So we're going to go into the hippie joint cafe, coffee cafe. Yes, it is iconic. Iconic flex staff. Macy's will be closing at 2 p.m. <laughs> this place actually roasts its own. There's a little roaster up here in the corner, and they actually roast it so you can sit there and you can eat whatever breakfast or lunch and drink your coffee. And sometimes they're, they're roasting it. So it's going around and around and they're roasting coffee beans. And one of the things I love about Macy's too is that if you have any food allergies or whatnot, they can cater to it. So they have a lot of vegan, vegetarian options, gluten-free, the whole thing. Um, they do gluten-free donuts, which I don't do sugar anymore, but back in the day, that was day. my favorite treat. Yeah. One thing that you need to know about Macy's coffees is they don't do flavors. So if you're looking for, you know, a little vanilla or hazelnut or whatever, all the other places that we've highlighted with all the fun flavors, Macy's is kind of a pure coffee location. So you can get some cinnamon on it, you can get some chocolate in it, but that's it. So you're gonna enjoy just their roasted coffee. It's amazing. Roasted, toasted, amazing. It's actually great, great coffee. I mean, it's it is great coffee. legit. It's so iconic. highly recommend if you're just passing through, you have to check out Macy's. <laughs> and um, what was the other thing? I don't know. Oh, uh, 